What will you do if I sing that tune? Just stand up and walk out on me. Well, lend me your ear and I'll sing you a tune. I'll try not to sing out of key. I get by with a little help from my friends. I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. I get high with a little help from my friends. Good morning, afternoon, or evening, as the case may be in your part of the world. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Zen Archer. And um, this little thing that I've, channel that I've got together, I call a balancing act. <clears throat> for those of you who are new subscribers to mine, thank you very much for subscribing. Um, it's a pleasure to have you here. And uh, I hope that you enjoy what you see. Uh, for those of you who are new also, I thought maybe I will answer a couple questions for you real quickly about what it is that you've subscribed to. Um, <clears throat> uh, in my vlogs, I often talk about Karma Zen. Karma Zen is a philosophy that, that I live my life by. Um, and the words Karma Zen are nothing more than uh, what I call the philosophy that I live by. Um, they're words that I put together in order to, to kind of a shorthand to what I believe. Um, it is not Buddhist, it is not Christian, Jewish, Hindu. It's none of those. Um, it's just what I live my life by. I call it karma because I believe that everything that you do has effect on everything else. And I say Zen because I meditate on a daily basis. So that's where that comes from. Um, a Zen Archer actually comes from the meditation, the Zen. And uh, as Western society realizes that Zen has something to do with meditation, so I use the word Zen. And the Archer is actually my zodiac sign. I am a Sagittarius. As a matter of fact, I just turned 50 years old on the 6th of this month. So, I hope you enjoy it here. I hope you enjoy the videos. I've got almost 200 up now. Um, don't try to go through them all. It will take you forever. Um, but welcome. And uh, I hope you enjoy what you see and you continue to subscribe. And uh, feel free to put me on your friends list if you'd like to. Now, in order to watch my videos, obviously, you don't have to subscribe. If you just like to check in once in a while rather than keep up on each video as it comes out, you're welcome to do that, too. Uh, I'm not subscription driven. Um, I pretty much do what I want to do, and if you like it, that's great. And if you don't, that's okay too. I support individual thinking. So there's a little little short thing uh, about what it is that you've subscribed to. Number two, for those of you who celebrate uh, the Christmas holiday, Merry Christmas. For those of you who do not, who celebrate Hanukkah, which is coming, or Kwanzaa, Happy Holidays to you as well or whatever holiday you may celebrate, even if you just have a party because it's winter time, that's okay too. Um, at any rate, I would like to say welcome and uh, uh, and happy holidays. Now on to business. Um, I just saw a video by a friend of mine by the name of Huck Betts, and it was about internet friendship. And well, can you really have friends out here? And like her, I have met many, many people over the years. I've been on the web since probably 1985 to 86, somewhere around there, uh, was when the Internet first became available. And I've been on the Internet, and I've made a number of friends. Some of those friends that I made way back then are still my friends today, and I, I converse with them through emails and through Instant Messenger. Um, I've met them personally. Others, uh, you know, have come and gone in my life, but friends do that, even even your friends as you're growing up. You know, you go to, you make friends when you're in kindergarten with certain kids, and, and uh, a few years later, you don't see them anymore. Um, that doesn't mean they were any less your friend when you were friends, um, or that you don't want to know, you know, what happened to them later on in your life, but uh, a time moves on, friends do come and go. Now, this whole thing about the internet and it being real, well, one of the things that you have to understand is when you're watching a video of mine, I'm a real person sitting here. Um, I'm sharing my views with you. I'm sharing what you know what's important to me with you. And hopefully you're doing the same thing with me. And through that exchange of ideas and through that exchange of emotion, you become friends. When I'm not here at the computer, I often think about many of you and wonder, you know, what you're doing in your day and how you are and, you know, what happened to that 
you know, when you went to the doctor, something happened, and, and what's going on with that, and how are you doing? Um, that's friendship. You know, if one of you were um, in a dire situation, if there were anything that I could do from where I'm at, I certainly would. And in some cases, from where you're at, in some cases, I would go to wherever you're at in order to help you out. That's friendship. It doesn't matter if we communicate in an electronic fashion. That's friendship. It doesn't matter if, you know, if I'm on the phone talking to you or I'm on an instant messenger talking to you or I'm talking to you through a video. That's a friendship. Um, now, where it gets confusing is that a lot of the uh, products that are out here, Yahoo, Instant Messenger, Skype, um, YouTube, StickCam, you have a friends list. And most of those people are not your friends. They are they are fans or people who kind of like you or kind of like what you do or maybe they don't like you at all. Maybe they just want to watch you because you piss them off. But, uh, you know, that that's a friends list. It, it's a list of contacts, really. And that would probably be more accurate if they would have it, you know, as a contact list rather than a friends list. But friends just sound so much more appealing. So they use that. So just because you're on a friends list doesn't make you a friend. What makes you a friend is the emotional connection that you have with the people that you come into contact with in whatever way you come into contact with them. If it's through the internet or through the telephone or you met them at the grocery store, um, that's still friends. So that's kind of my view on it. When I talk about my friends, I'm talking about people that I have contact with, that I have a back and forth um, dialogue with. Those are my friends. That being said, I'd also like to point out that friends is a lot like the word that, you, that we have in the United States called love, or the word love, in that that word is all-encompassing. You know, you love ice cream. I love cigarettes. Um, I love my friends. I love playing my guitar. I love my dog and my cat. The same thing is true here. Friends is all-encompassing. There are people that I consider my friends or I call friend because they've never done anything mean-spirited to me and I wouldn't do anything mean-spirited to them. And so they're my friend. Um, it doesn't mean that, that we've known one another for years and years and it doesn't mean that we don't have our differences. Well, certainly we do. How You have differences even with friends that you've known for years and years and years. But uh, that doesn't make them any less your friend. It just means that you've had differences. So, in that light, um, you know, they're friends too. But, uh, but the word friend is all-encompassing, meaning that you can have very dear friends and you, have, you can have friends that are people that you just met. And someone pointed that out uh, in one of my videos. I'm trying to adjust my camera here for you. Some of the, someone pointed out in one of my videos where I was at Walmart that I said I had a new friend. And they said, well, <laughs> right there, you can see what friends means to him. Well, yeah, it was someone I was talking to that I referred to as friend um, who had done any, nothing for me to not be their friend. So, yeah, that's my friend. But uh, I also have a friend that I've known for years and years and years. And we've had difficulties back and forth. And we've had discussions back and forth. And they're my friend, too. Um, they're, they're a different level, but they're still my friend. So when it comes to, to friends, are people on the internet really your friend? Well, although it's possible for people to come out here and not be genuine and, and pretend to be somebody who they're not, that is a possibility. I think for the most part, who you are shines through no matter what you're doing. And, uh... If I, make a, if I make friends out here, if I have communication and I think about you and care about you and you do about me, as far as I'm concerned, that's a friendship. And it doesn't matter if I've never stood next to you or never held your hand or never bought you a coffee or a beer. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make you any less my friend than anyone else. So that's kind of my opinion on that. Um, I know I mixed two videos together and... Uh, and uh, Huck, I'm sorry about that, but uh, I had two things that I wanted to say at the same time, and I thought everyone might benefit from them. So, that's my opinion, um, and that's all it is. It's my opinion. It's what I believe. Um, you are my friends.
and some of you are my enemies, and some of you are acquaintances, and some of you are just contacts. But either way, you are my friends because the word friends encompasses an entire range and has many shades, and many shades of friendship. Until next time, it's been a pleasure to talk with you, and you be well. This is Zen Archer. What would you do if I sang that tune? Would you stand up and walk out on me? Well, lend me your ear and I'll sing you a tune. I'll try not to sing out of key. I get by with a little help from my friends. I'm gonna try with a little help from my friends. I get high with a little help from my friends.